All right, in these exercises, we're going to first directly substitute the number X approaches. And then we're going to determine, we're gonna see that it's a zero over zero form, which they call an indeterminate form. And then after that, we'll evaluate the limit. So first we'll start by putting in the number that X approaches. So let's put in X equals four. And if it is not a zero over zero form, then well, I mean, if, if, if we put in four and we get a, non, a, a, a number, like say it simplifies to eight, then that'll be good too. That'll just be our answer. But here we get, um, as you can see, it's gonna give zero divided by zero. So that's a form. Zero divided by zero is, is not a number and it doesn't mean the limit doesn't exist because in fact it does. Now, one of the things also we found when we did that is that the number X is approaching, which is four, is a zero of these two polynomials. It's a zero of x squared minus four, and it's a zero of x minus four. So x equals four is a zero. That means that x minus four is a factor. Of course, the denominator only has that one factor, but it's a factor of the numerator. And that helps me a lot when I'm trying to factor. Some of the later problems will, have, will be more difficult to factor. But if I know one of the factors to begin with, I think it's much easier to, to find the other factor. So because four, when I put it into X squared minus 16 is equal to zero, because of that, that means X minus four is a factor. And that makes it, I, I think it makes it a lot easier to do the factorization. And here we go. And once we've done that canceling, we can directly substitute in for X. And as soon as I substitute for X, I don't write the word limit. Um, I, I actually, I need to maybe do a, some in-class work so I can see what you guys are writing in your paper. Cause it's important for me to, it's, it's, it's important the way you write this. Our tests and everything are not gonna be multiple choice. They are free response and you need to write the word limits and all these things. So, you know, try to write it the way you see here or the way you see in the book. Um, I try to follow along the same type of work that the way the author shows things. Okay, so let's do another one. And we can see that that's a, a zero over zero form that's called an indeterminate form. And um, okay, so we got that form. And again, what I can do now is knowing that two is a factor helps me in the factorization. But these, these polynomials are sort of easy to factor anyway. I haven't gotten to really the more difficult things. So don't forget, once I cancel out, there's still one left behind. It's one times that. So then I can plug in the number of X approaches, X approaches to put in two. Still not so bad. The put, okay, so we'll put in x equals six and we get three times six minus 18 on the numerator zero and the denominator two times six minus 12, that's zero. So I see there's a zero over zero form and then I'll factor knowing that x minus six is one of the factors for both the numerator and the denominator, x minus six is a factor. And I see that three um, comes out as a, factors out in the numerator and the denominator two factors out. So cancel, cancel. And so this is the limit of three halves. A limit of constant is that constant. Okay, how's that? Any questions about that? This is OpenStax Calculus Volume 1. Free to the public, worldwide public, the world, math world, everybody can use this. This is section 2.3. Okay, let's stop the video.